Hey, Jimmy, this guy says the test drive's over. He wants us to get back to the dealership. <laughs> Forget I said anything. You hungry? I could eat. Yeah, I'll have the deer burger, side of antlers. Sounds good. I'll have the same. Actually, come to think of it, let me have a bison burger. Nah, you know what? Deer burger's fine. <gasps> Hang on, Cheech! Jimmy, I think we traveled back in time to an episode of Little House on a Prairie. Are you hurt, strangers? What the hell are you doing riding a buggy in snowmobile country? Actually, this is Mennonite country. What the f is that? You know, where they make the deodorant. No, stranger. We are a humble, God-fearing folk who shun modern conveniences such as cars, electricity, and zippers. So, in other words, you're poor. Hope things pick up for you. In truth, we are an ultra-Orthodox branch of the Mennonite tree. We broke away from our brethren in 19... Yo, Rabbi, I'm on the edge of my seat here, but I gotta run. I fear the iron pig you ride is dead. Looks like we're walking back to Regina. Regina? We too are traveling to that Sodom and Gomorrah. I am Jacob. These are my brothers, Samuel and Eli. We are going on our Rumspringer. I think you mean wine spritzer. Rumspringer is a period in which young Mennonites leave our community to experience modern society. We are looking for what you people would call a good time. Do you know where we can find such a time? Tell you what, you boys give us a ride in the town and we'll help you out with that. You would do that for us? Oh, not so fast. Throw in some chickens and you got a deal. <laughs> So, what kind of good time you boys looking for? Disneyland or Playboy Mansion? Jacob! Samuel, look! The lights of the Emerald City! Mine eyes! Hey! We're walking here! Where the hell have you been? And what's this about you stealing a snowmobile? We didn't steal nothing. We took it for a test drive. It failed. Jimmy, what have I told you about taking things that don't belong to you? It's not the Canadian way. Unless we're talking native land, but we like to pretend that never happened. My point is, what kind of nation would this be if everyone just took whatever struck their fancy with no regard for other people? America? Exactly. And who the hell are these guys? This is Jacob, and the other one and the other one. Jimmy, why is the cast of Witness in my house? It's like this, Cookie. These are men in tights on a rumple still skin looking for a good time. Speaking of good times, I gotta use the jar. And I better get some groceries now that we got guests. Relax, dinner's covered. <laughs> hey, I'm Teresa. Hello, I am Jacob. I am here to taste the delights of the big city. Boy, did you come to the right place. I'm going to show Jacob my delights. I mean my sights. These sights. Bye! Listen, punk. Rum springer or no springer, I expect you to behave like a gentleman. Home by midnight and don't drink and drive. I neither drink nor drive. Good. Now get the hell out of here. All right, Cook. Cheech and I are going to take the other two out for some fun. Jimmy, be very careful with those boys. I've seen many a rum springer turn to tragedy when the modern world proved overwhelming for young Mennonites. Relax, McCool. They're farmers, not cavemen. Mm. Your well water is so clean and fresh. And blue. Oh, Jacob, your hay baling arms make me feel like I'm on the cover of a Harlequin romance novel. And that maybe, just maybe, my dress is torn. I think, Teresa, you are the most beautiful woman I have ever met. I think, Jacob, you are right. You are also the only woman I have ever met to whom I am not related. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> I figure we'll loosen them up with a few cocktails at the Sky Tickler Lounge and then on to Little India for the Snake and Kitty Show. That darn cat is such a charmer. It's only five stories up, but on a clear day, you can see everything, which really ain't much. How can this be? We are not where we started. We drove here in a $60,000 SUV, but the elevator's a big deal. What new wonders await us on three? Not too bright, huh? This from a guy who forgets to wear pants. Ah, oh, crap. 
You'd think four hours riding in the magic closet would be enough excitement for anyone, but no! You two have to go and pull the fire alarm! <sighs> Teresa! Daddy! Brothers! Teresa raised a barn! In my pants! <laughs> Anything. We did not? Then why are my Unterhosen damp? That's it! What is going on down here? I'm about to turn this Quaker Oats into porridge. Daddy, all we did was make out a bit. Promise. Jacob and I are in love. He's invited me to meet his family and stay in their village, and I said yes. Oh, Jesus. I love him the real way, not just the yes I'll go to Cabo for the weekend way. Hey, can I have her room? Teresa, you do realize Jacob is a Mennonite? Uh, I think you mean Mananite, and yes, he's my Mananite. Teresa Maria Falcone, there is no way you're running off with some weirdy beardy you just met. Mom, this is so unfair. I'm old enough to make my own mistakes. Okay, let me get this straight. You're gonna live without electricity. Our love is electric. And no running water. Jacob's love is all the fluid I need. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you? On a farm? <laughs> <laughs> She's really going. You sure you're okay with this? You kidding me? She'll be back by dinner time. I'm giving three to one on that. Interested? Fifty bucks says she'll sleep here tonight. I want a piece of that action. I abhor gambling. Give me twenty on noon tomorrow. <laughs> What a pleasant ride. And it only took us nine hours. You really ought to get your heater fixed. Shh! My father is coming. Relax. Dads love me. Jakob, what is this? You are supposed to sample the modern world, not bring it back with you. Father, this is Teresa. Father? Get out of town. You look more like Jacob's brother. Truth be told, I am a little of both. Now, young woman, we are not used to outsiders here. As long as you remain in this settlement, I trust you shall respect our customs, our morals, and our values. You got it, Pops. So, what's your Wi-Fi password? This is a mall. It's where people come to buy things they don't really need. Maybe you boys can pick something up for your mom. Something to take back to her when you go home. Hopefully soon. It's not gonna hurt you, just get on. Where do these steps come from? What strange magic is this? Whee! 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 Samuel, look! The steps, they vanish! Hey, don't put your face down there! Help! Help! It wants my gin blanket! <laughs> Wait! Modern medicine is forbidden to us! I feel better. Oh, five more minutes. Wake up, my modern woman. Jacob, not yet. I haven't even put my face on. Hand me my makeup. Ah, such whore paint is forbidden here. Jacob, I am already concerned by this girl's sloth. Now get up. It is only two hours until sunrise. Time for breakfast. Haven't you people heard of beauty sleep? <sighs> I guess not. <sighs> I'll have coffee and a bagel. We do not allow bagels with their sensual roundness and tempting holes. Fine. <sighs> what else you got? You misunderstand. Women's breakfast was hours ago. Now is the time for you to make the men's breakfast. In my country, we stopped playing with Play-Doh in grade two. And here, playing is forbidden. I was joking. Also forbidden. You must learn the value of doing chores. Look at Helga. She is proficient at chores and therefore has many suitors. Now this I know how to do. Uh, let us find you something else to do. What is going on here? Kid 
who's behind on his lunch money? He's in high school, so I want you to be my muscle, hmm? Ooh, what does this task entail? Uh, if he gets out of line, you two slap him around. Slap around? Is that some kind of dance? We do not dance. Who said anything about a dance? Just beat his head in. Oh, no. We are a peace-loving people. We cannot raise our hand to another man. Then use your freaking foot. What do I care? Let's go. Not that, you mooks. If you're gonna cross the street, you gotta watch the signals. Stop, Gina. The stern little man commands us to stand like this. No, no, you got it all wrong. Hurry, Samuel. The orange hand beckons us forward. What is wrong with you retards? <laughs> oh, thank heaven. The medicine that makes us feel better. Ah, that's the stuff. More, more. Please, please. I'll suck your Your father's been working me like a dog. I'm exhausted. But not too exhausted. Want to go to the hayloft? More chores? Teresa, you are insatiable. I've heard that. Don't know what it means, but I've heard it. Oh, no. Those follies may have been acceptable on my Rumspringer, but we are back in the real world now. Don't you want to play Amish school, girl? Amish girls do not go to school, silly. <laughs> now, off to bed. I will be thinking of you, but not with my hands. Bad hands. Devil's hands. I have handcuffs. Okay, it's official. This place sucks. <sighs> Damn it! Put that away. Such prideful adornments are forbidden. What? It's just a hair clip. It is much more than that. It is a dagger that will pierce the heart of our community. It is dangerous. Only if I stick it in your eye. I have spoken. There is no more to say on the matter. Well, I have more to say on the matter. F this! So, you guys have never seen a train before? Only in the distance. We thought they were metal snakes that would eat our souls. Well, that's just silly. There's no such thing as souls. Did you know these tracks run clear across the continent? In fact, early on it was referred to as the trans Look, Samuel, I have found medicine. Uh, guys, I wouldn't touch those. Seriously, guys, that's not safe. It makes me feel better. I do not feel better, Samuel. <laughs> We need to talk. Teresa, why is your head naked? Yeah, about that. This isn't working out. I thought when I came here, it would be quaint, like doing it on a quilt. Doing what? See, I don't fit in here. Can I catch a ride into town? I do not understand. We are to be married tomorrow. What? With God's blessing, you will be pregnant by the weekend. Dude, I'm only 17. I'm too young to get married. That is Witch talk! My mother was a spinster of 15 when she wed. In any case, you agreed to be my wife the moment you sat in my buggy. This is crazy! My little lamb, you just have cold feet. We have a cure for that. You could have just given me socks! Ow! Ow! Give me another try. Ow! Ah! 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 Son of a... My fingers gotta go on a diet. <laughs> Your fingers? Jimmy, Teresa hasn't updated her Twitter feed in 12 hours. Hashtag, I'm worried. <laughs> Stupid bird. We solemnly invite you to the joyless union of Jacob and Teresa under the eyes of a stern and merciless God. What? The bride and groom are registered at Barnes and Stable. If I'm reading this right, I think Teresa's getting married. The hell she is. Oh, my God. They're a cult. My baby girl's been kidnapped by a cult. Ah, crap. I'm gonna take a bath on this. Let me see that. How are we supposed to RSPV? Jimmy, get your shotgun. We're going to a wedding. Should I wear my blue suit or the pinstripe? <laughs> Give it a rest, will ya? Isn't it exciting? You are permitted to choose the color of your wedding dress, gray or off-gray. Off-gray, most assuredly. Where the hell is Jacob? <laughs> In the barn, learning about the birds and the bees. These are birds. These are bees. This is your penis. This is your penis on drugs. 
Any questions? Hey! Why are you burning my stuff? No! Please! Not the hair dryer! Ah! What do you have against full-bodied hair? What is wrong with you people? Don't you get it? It's your life, and you only get one, so make the most of it. Don't let anyone tell you how to live. You can be whatever you want to be. Could I be a shoemaker? I love shoes. A DeVry graduate? Reach for the stars. How about a sodomite? You can be any nationality you want. And stop pretending it's the 50s. What's so great about spending eight hours to make a loaf of bread when you can get one at 7-Eleven? Technology can make your life easier. Technology is your friend. Oh, she is right. Look at all this pornography. Won't be needing you anymore. <laughs> ben, I hope they have a chocolate fountain. I love those things. This is all my fault, Jimmy. I never should have let Teresa go. Ah, don't beat yourself up, Cook. Save it for the groom. What if they brainwashed her? What if they've got her in robes, chanting at airports? <gasps> oh my god, what if they're about to drink the Kool-Aid? Hurry up, Jimmy! I'm driving as fast as I can, but I don't know where I'm going. The sexy directions lady is on the fritz. This thing says, you are now leaving civilization. If you're trying to drag this out to win the pool, you are disqualified. Not to mention morally bankrupt. I'm hoping to bang some bridesmaids at this thing. Can you head off the uglies for me? <laughs> this isn't what I meant! Zippers are so much easier than buttons. Uh... I didn't mean for you to go crazy! I just meant you need to think for yourself! I'm gonna screw me a goat! One time I linger in the outhouse. Fools! Ow! Ignorant heathens! You have been tricked by the devil! But I can finally feel the wind on my face. It burns! Mark my words. This technology will betray you! He is right. Damn these roaming charges! Ah! It hurts when I pee. <laughs> The devil has wormed its way into our community in the form of this vixen. She is a witch, and you know what we do with witches. Huh. Do tell. We burn them! Remember, think for yourselves! Burn the witch! Oh, crap. What are you doing? You're supposed to be freaking pacifists! Shut up, witch! God, you still have hair! And Cheech wins the pool. Yes! Where am I gonna put a pool? Time to kick some men in ass! Run! He knows how to fight! <laughs> it's just you and me, CZ Top. Bringeth it on. Yeah! <laughs> Quite enough, gentlemen. Jimmy, roll down your sleeves, unclench your fists, and take a chill pill. You, sir, pitch that pitchfork. What the hell are you doing here? There was a noise complaint from the neighboring Hutterite colony. <sighs> Meddling Hutterites. Come, my good man, let us return you to your gentle ways of peace and misogyny. These outsiders will bother you no more. A Canada, where you can live as you want, as long as you keep it down. Wait! Jacob? Teresa, do not go. I still love you. I am sure with time you will be numb with fatigue and succumb to our ways. Oh, Jacob, I'm sorry, but I can't change myself to fit into your world. I mean, I can, but I won't, because your world sucks. If you will not live in mine, then I shall live in yours. You sure you want to do that, kid? <laughs> Eli, Samuel, what have they done to you? I'll never forget you, Jacob. I'll call you. I'll email you. Well, I'll text. Ah, oh, forget it. I'll never see you again. My heart is broken. So is Samuel's. Is that a tattoo? 
Who wants deer burgers? Not me. Last time I got a hoop in mine. <laughs> Saskatchewan, la 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 Hey, who threw out a thermometer? It's a pregnancy tester. Cheech, look at this. What's the little minus sign mean? Oh, it's negative. Means a baby's coming. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. You want another snot in those brat running around? No. Pregnant equals negative. Holy crap, Cookie's pregnant? I can't be a father again. I barely survived the first three. You want my advice? Pretend to be happy about this. Then, when she goes to bed, you skip town like a fucking gypsy. <sighs> There's my beautiful wife. If you was barefoot, this picture would be perfect. Okay, what'd you do? Ooh, was that a kick I felt? No, it was last night's eggplant pump. What's wrong with you? You fall in the shower or something? No, I'm talking about our baby. <gasps> Jimmy, this test is negative. I was a little late and just, you know, wanted to be sure. But I ain't pregnant. Nobody's pregnant. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. This is the happiest day of my life. Next time I'll pull out earlier so you don't gotta worry. <gasps> don't you move, young lady. That's not mine. It's for a friend. She had a little scare, but everything's fine. Oh, really? What's your friend's name? Sorry, so? Your father found this. If he knew it was yours, he'd slap a chastity belt on you and swallow the key. Lucky for you, I covered for you. Phew, dodged that bullet. Thanks, Ma. Not so fast, Teresa Maria Falcone. We're not done here. Not by a long shot. Will you relax? You should just be glad I'm not pregnant. Now we don't have to guess who the father is. Oh! <gasps> Think before you talk, Teresa. What are you doing? They're gonna need your measurements down at the nunnery. Hey, McCool, thanks for meeting me. We had a little scare and I'm gonna need some rubbers. A case a week should do. Don't tell God. <sighs> Can't you just buy them at the drugstore? What? You could just walk in and buy them up here? In the old neighborhood, you needed a sit down with Father O'Malley and the doctor's note. I had a connection upstate. One of the first guys to carry the French tickler. Are we finished here, Jimmy? McCool, what gives? Who died? Oh, just my career. A letter intended for my lady friend was mistakenly mailed to Premier O'Shea's office. So slap the mailman around. A fellow civil servant? Never. The problem is the letter contained photos of me. Playfully erotic ones. Oh! oh. When the Premier returns from his trade mission to Las Vegas, I'll be fired or at the very least, reassigned to one of Canada's bleaker outposts. Like Toronto. You ought to text your dirty pictures, like I do. A true gentleman does not text boudoir photographs to a lady. It's a picture of your bing bong. Quit trying to class it up. You're right. There's nothing classy about what I did. But Canada, where all degenerates wind up in Toronto. Poor bastard. You know, if we steal them pitches back for him and save his job, he'll owe us big time. Let's do it. We'll be ass deep in French ticklers. Can you believe she's making me wear an ankle monitor? Be careful what you say with that thing. It has speech recognition. Anything about boys and or sex and you get a shock. Even by mom's standards, it's a bit draconian. My social life is falling apart and you're talking about Star Trek? I'm only allowed to go to school and then straight home. What am I gonna do? Maybe focus on all the great things you can do at school. That's what got me in this mess. No, I mean an after-school club. Club, huh? Photography, full. Drama club, full. Witchcraft for beginners, full. All the good clubs are full. What's future business leaders? I thought it was a recruiting front for the conservative party, but it's just a club where you learn about sales and marketing. Ooh. 
Ooh, maybe they'll be cute boys. You're late. I told you to come straight home from school. I was doing school stuff. I joined the Future Business Leaders Club. Oh, please, you don't fool me for a second. You're just trying to stay away from here as long as possible. I'll have you know I am full of, what do they call them, viable consumer innovations. You're full of something, all right. Tomorrow, you come straight home from school. None of this phony club crap, you hear me? But, Mom, the one time I'm not lying, and you... End of discussion. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna come up with an idea that's gonna knock your socks off. You wanna knock my socks off? Get your virginity back! Gotta think of a product. I'll show her. Think. 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 God, thinking's hard. And so is this chair. My butt's killing me. Europa. I think I got it. What's going on in here? I'm taking the lead on the O'Shea heist, Jimmy. So what's with these mooks? It's the team. I call them Cheech's Eleven. Minus six. Wait, how many of us are there? Not including me. What's wrong with you? We're stealing some mail, not robbing a casino. Why you always gotta stomp on my ideas? Mainly cause they're insane. But I already gave everybody code names in case we get pinched. This here is Mr. Red. You're a freaking racist. Race ain't got nothing to do with it. Now sit down, Geronimo. This is Mr. Brown, cause he smells like a toilet. All right, Dale, I mean Mr. Red. You're gonna shoot an arrow through the window so I can shimmy up. But I'm terrible with a bow and arrow. I thought you said you was an engine. I, mean, I thought this was gonna be a sex orgy. All right, meeting's over. Cheech, you ain't in charge no more. Well, I had a good run. Today's modern woman faces many challenges, but none compare to the very real problem of BAS, bony ass syndrome. Oh, here we go. Ladies and awkward teen boy, I give you... Hang on. Ass jacks! Whoa, I'd love to get one of those for my girlfriend. If I, you know, had a girlfriend. Hey, this is fun. Now I see why guys like me so much. Teresa, it's great you're applying yourself to something besides boys, but this is the stupidest thing I ever seen. Well, Ma, the stupidest thing you've ever seen is setting the Twitterverse on fire. Who the hell goes on the internet to look for big butts? Judging from Ask Jax's followers, flat-bottom girls with low self-esteem who want to jack up their asses. And a lot of dirty old men. Probably not our target market. Those are my Instagram followers, you idiot. Look at all the orders rolling in for Ask Jax. I never thought I'd say this, but Teresa, you're brilliant. I don't want to rain on your parade, but how are you going to fill 510, 12, 50 orders? Ma, you just don't have any vision. Oh, my vision's fine. I see a bunch of kids who think they're going to make a mint off rubber underpants. But, Mom, pre-sales like this mean startup capital and... Save it for the shareholders, Mr. Google. <laughs> Teresa, as your IT manager, I recommend myself for VP of Sales and Marketing. Hmm. I'd have to see a resume. Resume. But I stand on my experience. Remember those great ideas I had for Pop's business? What, like the public transit getaway? What do you mean, exact change? Will you just go? I propose we make a web commercial. Keep this synergy going. I have no idea what synergy means, and that impresses me. You're hired. <laughs> All right, this'll be a cinch. We sweet talk his secretary, get in his office, and grab the envelope. <laughs> Say no more, Jimmy. <gasps> they don't call me old sugar lips for nothing. Hey, pal, is Premier O'Shea's secretary around? If you mean administrative assistant, that's me. A man's secretary! Aboard! Aboard! <sighs> What's wrong with you? Guys can have lady jobs. It's the 20th century. I got spooked. But this is good. Now that it's a guy, we just rough him up and barge in. In a government building? Are you nuts? We gotta go back to that drawing board. Sounds good. Now I can finish that picture of a duck. Where's my crayons? Our first commercial.
commercial. I'm so excited. How can you be in a commercial? We're in witness protection. Mom, it's all right. We thought of that. Watch. Hey, girlfriend. Do boys ignore you because you have a small bony ass? Then you need Ass Jacks. With Ass Jacks, you get so many guys, you'll have to beat them off with a stick. In fact, you'll be beating guys off all over town. You can wear Ass Jacks in the club. Shake that thing. Up on charges, wear Ass Jacks to court. Ass dismissed. You can even wear them to church. Bless me, Father, for I have booty. Don't be a jackass. Go to AskJacks.com and order your Ass Jacks now. Now what are you gonna do? You actually gotta make the damn things. Ma, we're already on it. Wow, how'd you do this? Simple, I had a vision and told Petey to make it happen. At first, we considered outsourcing to a Chinese production facility. But then Petey reminded me that they have a terrible Hunan rice recipe. Human rights policy. Whatever. Anyway, as a job creator, I wanted to keep the factory here in the state of Regina. But I crunched the numbers and the labor costs would kill us, so we automated. I gotta say, I'm impressed. This is a hell of an operation you got here. Now, if you'll excuse us, we gotta move some latex butts. <laughs> move it or lose it, toots! Hello! I'm the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and uh, Nuclear War. We need to get into the Premier's office. Oh, yes, sir. I'll open it right up. Wait a second. How can you be the Minister of Fish, Wildlife, and Nuclear War when he's standing right over there? Hello! I told you we should have used Mr. Brown. I got a slide. Talk to you. Oh, you got one! Straight from the breeder. Oh, what a sweetie! I'm gonna call you Minxy. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Where the hell did all this crap come from, Teresa? Who's paying for this? I am. I've been pre-approved for like a zillion credit cards. This is just like with your boyfriends. Have fun now, pay later. Oh, you're just bitter because you never did anything with your life. Excuse me? Never did anything with my life? I raised three kids. Ooh, three whole kids. Talk to me when you raise an empire, Ma. Security. Gina, get your hands off me. Take it easy. You don't want to slip and fall repeatedly onto my boat. So you're a goon for your sister now. She signs the checks. I got it! What the hell is that? You're supposed to get an envelope. Ah, oh, crap. Wrong building. I'll go put it back. Where's my stuff? I returned it all. My handbag collection? Returned. My diamond tennis bracelet? Returned. The meat dress I bought off Lady Gaga? Cooked it for dinner. Really? You just made a $20,000 meat sauce. This isn't fair. Why are you doing this to me? <sighs> I'm trying to teach you about personal responsibility. The ex-stripper mobster's wife is gonna tell me, the CEO of Ass Jacks, about responsibility. Do not talk to me like that, young lady. My house, my rules. Well then, maybe I won't live in your house, you jealous cow. Where are you going? I'm taking my operation overseas. And by overseas, I mean downtown. Go ahead and move out. You're never gonna make it. This town's gonna eat you alive. And your little dog, too. You're gonna come crawling back. You'll see. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> this meat sauce tastes like sweat. Ma, how'd you find me? Ah, oh, right. This is the living room, 
And this is a room for the Siamese. Your cats have their own room? What cats? The one on the right doesn't actually work here. Popo? Tea. Special blend. What's with the munchkin? That's Popo, my Burmese manservant. He does what you do, only more and better. Teresa, I'm trying to mend fences here. I'm in a condo. There is no fence. What's in there? The Ass Jack's nerve center. Eat it, Koji-san. We're the ones with leverage. Don't make me Fukushima your face. Mom, we're busy in here. <sighs> Oh, this tea's tasty. It's a blend of jasmine, oolong, and great white shark semen. Teresa, I know you're mad at me, but I miss you. I want you to come home. I'll even take off the ankle cuff. Does this mean no more breathing down my neck and getting on my back about boys? We'll work it out. I'll try not to get on your case so much, but there's got to be some give and take. Oh, it is kind of lonely here at the top. I'll think about it. Hold on, I gotta take this. It's my attorney's. Oh, oh God, I hope she comes to her senses. <laughs> Minxie? Minxie, wake up! Yo, Minxo, up and at him, come on! Oh, great, you killed the freaking dog! Now Teresa will never come home! Hmm. <laughs> nah. Sorry, Minxie. Nothing personal. Ah! Oh my god! Ma, what is wrong with you? You're trying to kill my dog, you psycho! No, no, no! He's already dead! I'm just getting rid of him. I was right! You are a jealous cow! But to take it out on poor Minxie? <gasps> you know, my lawyers told me to get legally emaciated. I wasn't gonna do it, but now I am! You're thin enough, young lady! No, wait! Emancipated! It means I'm being freed from ya, like the slaves were in the 60s! You're divorcing me? That's it! Petey, Gina, let's go! Hey, hey, they're still on the clock! Get in the car, now! This is kidnapping! They're my kids, I'll nap them all I want! Ha-ha, <laughs> who got the leverage now, Petey-san? <laughs> Here, let me get the rope. How do you do that? Do what? I got it! I can't wait to see them pictures. <laughs> you can't wait to see naked pictures of McCool? What? I like photography. Now we're talking. It ain't a real heist unless you're spilling blood. Crap, it's O'Shea! Ah, oh, me darling, let me show you the end of me rainbow. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You think they're doing it? Hey, Petey. Are you wearing ass jacks right now? No. Good. Then it's safe to sit down. Check the link I sent you. <laughs> the ass jacks are fine until you try to sit down. <laughs> o. M. G. <laughs> There's so many lawsuits, I stopped counting. It's over, Teresa. What about my money? If I were you, I'd put on a ball cap and sunglasses and get the hell out of that building quick. Oh, Popo. At least I'll always have you. Actually, my name is Edward and my paycheck bounced. So I ate your dog. Ah, there, I'm done. <laughs> All right, me darling. Back to Vegas with you. Uh, good morning, Premier O'Shea. Uh, a few days ago, I inadvertently sent you some personal mail. I've come to apologize and beg your forgiveness. Grab it off the desk, boyo. I'm hitting the showers. Can't run the government covered in body glitter, smelling like a Reno cat house. Stomp and Tom Connors, what are you two doing in here? We was saving your job. You owe us one. 
Boy, listening to a guy hump all night sure makes you hungry. Want to get some sausage? Why are you wet? It's not even raining. You were right, Ma. I'm crawling back, broke, homeless, and unemployed. Go ahead, say I told you so. I think you learned a bigger lesson than I ever could have taught you. I sure did. I learned if I'm gonna take a pregnancy test, I should do it at the mall bathroom. That's what you got from this? Nothing about being responsible or thinking before you do stuff. Uh, nope. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm just glad you're back. Oh, boy. Ah! <sighs> it's good to be home. La 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 how about this one? I already got to tell your brother to tuck in his shirt. I ain't telling you to tuck in your privates. My clothes express my individuality. Stop trying to census me. How about this? It says material girl with a hint of like a virgin. What the hell are you talking about? You know, Madonna. Lady Gaga's grandma? If we weren't in public, I'd smack you right in your stupid mouth. Teen troubles, Cookie? Oh, hey, Annabelle. You know how it is with teenagers. Can't live with them, can't drown them in the river. Well, we can't all be super parents. How do they fit, darling? Like I'm wearing miracles, Mother! What's with Billy Elliot over there? That's my son, Donnie. He's testing a pair of dance pants for this year's Regina's Got Talent competition. Regina's Got Talent? It's a performing arts contest. No, I'm asking. Regina's Got Talent? Yes. And my Donnie's won three years in a row. Right, Superstar? Ain't you two a pair? More like a team. It's amazing what happens when you don't threaten your children with abuse. Hey, me and Teresa are a team, too. Well, Twinkie, your teammate just abandoned you. Teresa, get back here right now, or so help me, I'll hug you so hard. Why do you want me to sign up for a talent show, Ma? I thought about what you said in the store. You were right about expressing your individuality, and this is a great way to do it. So it's a wet t-shirt contest? You got a beautiful singing voice, Teresa, and I want you to share it with the world. <sighs> My nose is crying. I'm not used to you saying nice things about me. Well, get used to it, teammate, because you deserve it. Take it easy, Ma. Who knows what's in that blood? Jimmy, what are you doing here? Regina Tourism sponsors this event, so I gotta sit here and sign up all the wannabes and losers. Well, Teresa's signing up. Did I say losers? I meant shining stars of tomorrow. <laughs> you guys are the best! You're talented too, Gina, but this contest ain't for you. Pop, I got no intention of entering Regina's Got Assholes. Well, that's good, because you can't. What do you mean, can't? Age limit's 10 and over. You're too young, so you can't. 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 Let it go, Gina. Can't. There's some things you can't do. Can't. But this ain't one of them. Can't. 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 Shut up! Now, McCool, just because my daughter's in this, I don't want you showing any favoritism. Unless you're open to that. In which case, I can make it worth your while. Do you know why I've been asked to judge this contest three years in a row, Jimmy? Because no one else will do it? And my integrity. I am unbribable. I'm always the bribe's maid, never the bribe. <laughs> Toby for Jimmy. Toby for Jimmy. Hey, Toby, what's up? Toby for Jimmy. Come in, Jimmy. <sighs> Go for Jimmy. Oh, there you are. Aren't these headsets amazing? Anyway, I have terrible news! Turns out Dick Clark is dead. We need a new MC! Did someone say MC? 
Have you ever emceed before, Uncle Cheech? I certainly have, young lady. If any of you's got any allergies, whip out your EpiPens, cause here comes Peanut Butter Cookie! Sorry I'm late. I had to finish the word parts for my first number. Number? It's like the one I sang at Uncle Luigi's thing, remember? He's shaking his ass just sharp as a knife. It's non-stop booty, just don't tell his wife. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it at Club Afterlife. Yeah! Wait till they hear my new song, Labia of Love. Teresa, honey, the judges want to hear classics. Then I'll sing one of my classy ballads, like Angel with the Fake Tits. You cried when I sang it at Christina's communion. We all did, honey. But if you want to make it past the first round, you gotta keep things wholesome. Okay, I'll try. But let's not go overboard. Of course not! Now tape down your boobs and put on this nun's outfit. Now to help us forget the human pretzel practically licking his own balls, here's our next act, g Doll and Enviro Pete. Now remember, I'm not your sister, I'm a doll. You sure are. Thanks for encouraging me to do this. My unique brand of edutainment is just what the people need. Shut the f up. We're on. Hey, G Doll. Do you know why the ecosystem is in so much trouble? Because the owners of big factories are a bunch of dummies. Just like me. <sighs> Talk about an ecosystem. <laughs> Remember, everyone, think globally, act jokily. The ventriloquism's quite impressive, but the material's atrocious. Bring back the ball liquor! <laughs> it's only 60 pounds. Cause you'll have a great old time at the good old ball game. Stay neutral, old chap. Stay neutral. Looks like Teresa might make it through to the next round. And it looks like you might be crapping your pants. Well, get ready to eat it. Next up, we got a three-time winner, a one-man dance armada. And a true patriot. Let's give a warm vagina welcome to Nani Westminster! <laughs> It's freaking amazing! Makes that nun's routine look like a bowl of piss! That nun was Teresa! Oh, sorry. This kid makes Teresa look like a bowl of piss. You want us to fix the talent contest? Not the whole contest, just that freaking Donnie! He's unbeatable! Then I guess we'll have to beat some beatable into him. Anyone asks, I've been here all day. You have been here all day. Exactly. Cook, I'm not hurting a kid over a contest. Unless there's a cash prize. How much are we talking? It's a trophy and bragging rights. What am I, an amateur? And trust me, no one in that show is going to do any bragging. Especially that boring nun. She's next on my list, Cook. That's Teresa! You want to end this contest or not? Okay, forget it. I guess I'll just have to be a better mother and put way more pressure on Teresa. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Stay on the high note. The high note. I don't believe the lamb's following Mary. Convince me. Visualize your goals. Reactualify your happytude. You're just making those words up. Don't talk back to your life coach, Muffin Top. This is un, excuse my language, frickin' acceptable, mother. Why didn't you hire me a life coach? Uh, I never... Never wanted me to win? Obviously. Ugh, I'm getting flushed. Fan. Donnie, you have nothing to worry about. Too dry. Spritz. Oh, 
Are you trying to drown me? Donnie, calm down. Teresa's good, but you're better. I guess I'm gonna have to handle this because you're more useless than a donated appendix. Oh, Donnie. Fly like a dove. It's a labia of love. Hey, we agreed. No original songs. But I'm almost done writing it. I just need something that rhymes with reach around. Do you want to win this thing or not? Original songs, eh? <gasps> that gives me an idea. Go get the car, Annabelle. In <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. God help you if I get to ten. We barely squeaked into this round, Gina, so we really have to nail it. Don't forget, be the message. Sure thing, Petey. Folks, if you need to use the crapper, now's a good time. Because it'll smell better than this next act. I hate this guy. Oh. By the way, I changed our name. Oh, it's nice you're getting involved. Please welcome Little G. That's fun. And Dick Bart. Gina. Uh, ahem, <clears throat> okay. Hey, Little G, tell us what you know about fracking. That's when you dig a hole in the backyard and fart in it. <laughs> then this fracking loser shoves his head in and sniffs. <laughs> right to the kisser. Ha, 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 jokes aside, um, do you know the size of your carbon footprint, Little G? Two inches, just like your dick. <laughs> Gina, cut it out. Yes, um, carbon emissions should be on everyone's minds. Along with the polar ice caps. Yes, thank you. Do you know why the ice caps are melting? Because you jerk off in the shower? <laughs> Dick Bart's getting served! So, why did you ask me out, Donnie? I like you, Teresa. You're a good kid, and I want to give you some advice about the biz nasty. I got it directly from Al Pacino, as uh, acting coach's website. Wow, you are connected. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've slept my way around the entertainment block, sweetheart. Had my fair share of mouthies, VTs. VTs? Oh, vagina touches. <laughs> so naive. Donnie, have you ever actually been with a girl? Are you kidding? <laughs> Any more tangy poon for me and my G-spot's just gonna fall right off. What part of this is the advice? This part. If you want to stand out from the crowd, you need to do something original. You mean like an original song? Yes! Oh! But who has those, right? I, I do. I write my own songs. You do? And you're not singing them? Um, are you trying to lose? But I promised Ma I'd wait until I won. Waiting's for tables, baby. Speaking of which, who do I got a blow jam to get another shake around here? We always laugh at you, but who knew you had real comedy chops? When that creepy troll doll accused you of clear-cutting the cheese... Oh, my ribs, Petey! My ribs! Gina, you should have seen this kid. He's a natural. Yeah, but his material's a little highbrow for Gina here. Now, let's not forget about the environmental message. I'm an edutainer, first and foremost. The reviewer says you've redefined the part of self-deprecating humor with refreshing brilliance. Um, I heard the dummy's pretty hilarious, too. Yeah, but without Petey, there's no act. It's just a hideous little puppet. Ooh, creepiest thing I ever seen. What's the G stand for, anyway? Grotesque? I thought it was just, God help me. No, it stands for guys. Look what just fell out of my ass. <laughs> 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 Now that we eliminated all the riffraff, it's time to hit the snooze button for the opposite of entertainment, Teresa Meduga. It's super drama, Fraggle Rock spaghetti is delicious. Ah, forget that crap. Regina, make some noise. <gasps> Clap your hands, come on. Ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah. This is a Teresa McDougal original Christmas jam. I don't know what 
gets sadder, how hard you tried or how badly she's failing. So get your butts to the bonfire. This is a race. He's gonna bust some Christmas cheer all over your face. Snip my foreskin and color me Jewish because Christmas is dead to me. round, didn't I? Only by the skinny of teeth, thanks to that humpy dog act getting disqualified. <laughs> Toby, for security! Toby, for security! Where are you, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell told you to do your own song? Donnie, he told me to be original. Teresa Falcone, you got played! My song got played, and once I find a rhyme for Reach Around, I'ma be dropping another sound bomb, yo! Now the only way we'll beat Annabelle is if Donnie gets kneecapped. So that's why you made me enter this, to beat Donnie's mom? Who's playing who, Ma? I wasn't playing you. I was encouraging you. By making me dress like a nun and sing about baseball? You were a nun trying to keep orphans off drugs by getting them into sports. It's called a backstory, Teresa. You know what? You're in this for you, not for me. Teresa, wait! Ah, oh, balls. You're welcome, Mother. Once again, I solved the problem. Now, can you handle getting me a smoothie, or is that too much for you, you dried up old cow? Oh, and I'm gonna need a new phone, because this one's broken! I freaking hate other people's kids. Kickball change and a funky hips. Eye on the prize, eye on the prize. No, 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 no. Who's a bad boy? That's me. Who's a bad boy? That's me. How do girls pee? Who knows? Do the running man. Go, Donnie. Go, Donnie. It's about time. You best have my smoothie. Hey, who, who are you? No. No! No! Are you ready, little G? Please what do I know? I'm G just a dummy. Dick Bob! Say, little G, I bet you have something funny to say about me and the terrible effects of nanopollution. <laughs> little G? <laughs> Do you have a frog in your throat? <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, frogs in mountainous areas are most affected by climate change. What do you think about that, little G? Make the troll talk! Come on, say something! Yeah, make the gargoyle emasculate you! <laughs> I'm a gargoyle? This from a guy with a baboon's ass for a face! <laughs> Does old McDonald know you left the farm, you fucking donkey? <laughs> hey, McCool! A shot says, pardon me? Pardon me? Oh, oh, I see what you did. Hey, everyone, the gremlin called me a shark. <laughs> Stop the show. Look who I found out by the dumpster. Uh, Donnie, I've been knee-banged. Calm down, everyone. I'm a police officer. I'll get to the bottom of this. Donnie, tell us who banged you. I was out back waiting forever for my mother to bring me my smoothie when someone ran up and hit me right in my knee. My dancing knee! Did you recognize the assailant? He was wearing a mask. You mean she was wearing a mask? How could you, Ma? Yeah, how could you? I had dibs. Me? I had nothing to do with this admittedly fortunate turn of events. Oh, right. So when you said the only way I'd win is if Donnie got kneecapped, you were being psychic. Oh, my God, Ma, are you psychic? She's a witch! Is someone going to call an ambulance? Cookie, I'm afraid I'm going to have to inquire as to your wear up. <laughs> Shart. So good. <clears throat> anyway, where were you when this happened? I was nowhere near Donnie. I was backstage working on Teresa's song. I even found the rhyme you were looking for. Just reach around and make a happy sound. Huh? Why did you finish my song for me? Donnie may have been playing you, but he was right. You gotta be yourself. Stop upstaging me! It's my time to shine! Mine! None of this would have happened were it not for the incompetent shrew who birthed me. Donnie, don't. Shut your kale hole. If you'd have been there on time with my smoothie, you could have taken the hit for me. But you didn't. Why? Because you're a selfish, greedy, evil... Ah! 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 Fine! Ah! It was 
was me. And I would have got away with it if I'd just hit him again in front of everyone. Damn it! Kneecapping your own kid? That shit is cold. I'll tell you what's cold. Diva Donnie making me walk beside the car on the way home from his singing lessons in the dead of winter because I was taking up too much oxygen. Oh, I could go on! He's a monster! Mother, how could you? Oh, shut up, you fucking drama queen. You know, we may not have the best relationship, but at least we're not these clowns. I love you. I love you too, Bob. Ah, now you got my nose crying. Not so fast, madam. A real crime has been committed. I have no choice but to arrest... Oh, the results are in. This year's winner of Regina's Got Talent is... Dick Fart and Little G! What? Who's Little Dick and G Fart? Ha! <laughs> you said I was too young to enter, but I did, and I won! Take that, you mother... Porky's Revenge! It's alive! Run! Run for your lives! But Canada, where even the most heroic must sometimes flee in terror! Oh, so everyone gets a shot but Cheech? It's my oh. turn, kid. <laughs> Saskatchewan, la 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 la